Hello, today I have a video about how I find art inspiration specifically for OCs. Um, this was requested, but I also was meaning to make this video for a while, so this kind of like, the request gave me the push I needed to actually make it. So yeah, real quickly though, I'm gonna talk about what I'm drawing. So this is my OC Twilight. Um, I've only drawn her like twice, other than sketches. So you probably haven't really seen her or recognized her if you watch my videos already. So yeah, this is my OC Twilight. I really love her, um, so I want to draw her more. I don't know why I haven't been. Um, so yeah, and her design uh, that I was drawing her in right now is inspired by Hatsune Miku's 2023 racing design. So yeah. <laughs> so I have a lot of OCs and I really love to do character design um, so these are gonna be like how I personally find inspiration for making OCs and art in general so yeah um, so the first thing my OCs a lot of the time are either inspired by songs or aesthetics but it can also be like Sanrio characters can inspire an OC it can be food and drinks it can be like anything. So one thing that I do a lot is I'll take songs or aesthetics into a character. Um, like for one example, I have this OC named Sky, and she's based off the song Side Machine by Porter Robinson. And um, you can like listen to the song, like take a screenshot of Sky and like listen to the song and see the similarities if you want. And like you can also try this if you want, like take your favorite song or a song that you find really cool and just like try and make a character off of that. Uh, and you can also do this with aesthetics. This one's easier than a song. Um, like you can look up aesthetics and just look up outfits or like mood boards and try and take inspiration from that and just like try and create a few characters based off of those aesthetics. Um, here's a list of aesthetics that I'm really into and that like you can probably match up with most of my OCs. You can also um, make characters based off of like food and drinks and like Sanrio characters um, so yeah you could like look at the character and try making a design um, and another thing is you find your favorite artists and you can like look at some of your the favorite characters by them and see just like study it for a while and see like okay what type of shirt is this character wearing what kind of like pants is this wearing what do the what does this artist really do most of the time that I really like like figure out what you like about that artist and try and impl implement it to your own designs. Um, like for me, um, my character designs are very much inspired by Arima, um, and she would always give like uh, pleated skirts and like fingerless gloves. So whenever you see a drawing that you feel like stands out to you, that you feel inspired by, save it, download it, screenshot it, and like save it into a photo album for like next time you want to draw something just like try to make a mental note of like what you wanted to do and yeah most of the time i don't even really like look at references anymore because i just like have seen so many drawings of with like cool character designs and it's just like all into my head <laughs> To the point where I don't really need them anymore. So just like surround yourself with a bunch of drawings and have a bunch of them saved. Like I have so many photos saved of drawings on Google Photos. Google Photos, I love Google Photos. Um, I don't have Pinterest or anything, but I've heard that a lot of artists also really like Pinterest. So I've heard that there's a lot of like character designs on there, but I mostly use Instagram. And yeah, there's also a lot of cool uh, character designers on there. So yeah, um, so that's pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, I hope this is okay, like that it will help you, uh, but I tried my best. <laughs> um, so yeah. Jumping
Those things all done. 